Hey, what's up? Welcome to VFX Studio, and today on this quick effects episode, we're going to be learning about the set mat effect. Quick note before we get started, my channel name is now VFX Studio. The longer tutorials will be named VFXS Tutorial Number Whatever. I wanted to have an easier to remember name than Valbar, so I decided to make VFX Studio the overall name of the channel. Anyway, let's get started with this effect. Now those of you familiar with After Effects know that there is an option to create a matte through alpha or luminance properties. I've seen some people say that there is no such option in HitFilm, but there actually is and it's an effect rather than a button. I'm just going to go through three examples showing you what the effect can do and how it can be used. The first example has actually already been demonstrated in an FX Home tutorial, but it's always good to refresh ideas. I have a text layer here and a texture that I want mapped onto the text only. To do that, I'll go to Keen, Matte Enhancement, Set Matte, and drop it onto the texture layer, which I've placed above the text layer. In the effect controls, I'll set the source layer to my text, and you can see in this instance it takes effect right away. The matte source option is telling the texture layer to take, in this case, the luminance from the text layer and use it as the texture's channel with alpha. Because the text doesn't have a background, the texture only fills up the text, and that's why I can also use alpha as the matte source. You can see I can move the background without moving the text, and move the text without affecting the background. In this next example, I have this shot here, and let's say I need my whole body masked out but there is no green screen and no keyable background. So I hand the shot off to my coworker who does rotoscoping, and an hour later they come back and give me this file, a black and white rotoscope. If I put my footage on top and add the set matte effect, it doesn't work with alpha like the text, because the roto is actually solid black and white. So in this case, we'll select luminance. The color white means keep, and the color black means make transparent. Now I have a masked out layer that works like any other so I can use the matte cleaner effect to fix up the edges. At this point, you can hide the black and white layer and put whatever asset you want under it. In this final example, I've made a quick black and white animation using masks and solids in a composite shot. I have this layer here that I can restrict to the white shapes of the animation by using the set matte set to luminance. Remember, you can also invert the matte for a different look. This result is similar to the chroma matte. I just wanted to show you that you could use a motion graphic animation as the matte. Thanks a lot for watching, it'd be cool to see what you guys can create with this effect, so send me your test videos or link them in the comments. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.